Well, in Canada, we like to call TBI, we clump it all in with acquired brain injury and don't make quite the same differentiation. Uh, but in terms of TBI or traumatic brain injury, um, the most often times that are misdiagnosed are the mild ones. Most people can recognize when the child's totally in a coma and unresponsive that, hey, maybe there's a brain injury here. Whereas the ones who have been uh, injured in a mild brain injury are often not recognized and misdiagnosed. That would probably be particularly true if you were in a, uh, like a car accident and you had a mild brain injury but you fractured your legs and your pelvis and, and a couple other things, they're not going to see the mild brain injury, they're going to be concentrating on the other injuries and it's not often for about a year or two before things have sufficiently gone downhill that they sort of, somebody says, hey, I wonder whether they had a brain injury at the time. So it's important because without recognizing that the person's had a brain injury and um, informing the family, putting in the supports around that are needed, talking to the school so that the school can modify what they uh, are going to do to interact with the person, the child just loses their ability to stay on top of things and, and go forward as quickly as they would have, fall a bit behind their peers, the behaviors start to come up and then that's when I say when the wheels come off, people start to think, oh, so that, that's why it's important.